Lance Lannister. Gods, what a stupid name. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to I the Golden and Oblivion, and we are here with Lord Paramount John of the North, John the Snow. Okay, so this is this is the if you guys remember, this was the last episode where we were fighting King Tommen. We were losing some, but winning some, and in the end we wound up in a weird situation where we had like two thousand men left and he had endless armies. But we had him on the ropes to where he would be willing to sign for a, a white piece. So that's still available. That's still a thing we can do. But a lot of you suggested, maybe not a lot of you, some of you did. My, my war council has convened, and they've convinced me that we can win this. I just need to fight this war differently. Before I go any further, if you hear some strange sounds in the background, that is actually hammering that is happening in, the, in an in adjoining room, some construction. So if you hear that, you probably won't hear it in the recording, but if you do, that's what it is. Anyways, so what we can do to win this is contesting the neck with the Iron Throne is not a good idea. That's that's King Tommen's game. He wants us to do that. He's also here in Skagos. I am not too worried about that. What we need to do is we need to let them take the neck, and as long as they don't take Winterfell, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. What we need to do is we need to get our ally, Daenerys Stormborn, into the war here because, I mean, she's fighting her own wars in Slaver's Bay, but we can use the Allied Order to attach an army and we can maybe get her 20,000 men to attach to us. Now, I don't think she's got a giant fleet, although she might. She has almost 1,000 gold, whereas we're almost broke. But, oh, I'm just going to slap my mic. But we can force her to attach to us because um, the order ally attachment is, I don't, it seems kind of draconian in that if we tell an ally or AI ally to do it, they seem to be compelled to do so. So I think she'll find a way to join our main force. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and attach her army to ours. Even if she has to ferry it in like a couple thousand at a time, that's useful reinforcements. John's going to stay in the middle. Actually, maybe not. What we need to do now is something else someone else suggested. Is you assholes all stay in White Harbor. In fact, I'm going to march you back here. We probably don't even need to, but I'm going to march you guys back. What if we do that's going to make it? So what we need to do is we need to conscript the merchant ships. We're not going to conscript the merchants. We're going to conscript their ships. And what is... I've never done that before. I've never done that. Withholdings. Withholdings overseas. My realm has quite a bit of merchant shipping that can be conscripted in times of war for a tidy sum of gold, of course. And for 100 gold, which we barely have, 100 ships arrive in White Bay, non-reinforcing, maintenance-free, nice. Mokalen gets mo merchant ships conscripted, which lowers the tax modifier and lowers the supply limit. Mokalen is a shithole, so I'm not really worried, worried about not getting money from there anymore. Which, I actually thought we would be conscripting them from White Harbor. But we're, we're conscripting them from Mokalen. So, I don't think you can do this if you don't have holdings that have... Um, do we have ships to begin with before I before I go any further? We have ten. Is that coming from Mo Kalen? Uh, no. I don't know where that's coming from. So I'm thinking you need to oh you have to have holdings at sea or something. It doesn't even seem that you need to have a shipyard or anything. Interesting. Anyways, we're gonna do that. Can we take out a loan? We can take out a loan. How much money are we losing over time? Apparently, we're getting four gold. That's hard to believe. Actually, it's not hard to believe because we haven't raised any of our personal domain because we have no personal domain. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're not going to move you. We're going to conscript the ships. That, where is it? I just saw it. I was just looking at it. There it is. Bam. 100. And they can carry... They can ferry 10,000 troops. What were we going to do with them? Classic King's Landing Rush. We're going to sail down here. If all of his armies are up here taking the neck, we're going to rush down south to King's Landing. Um, you're fabricating... No, you're improving diplomatic relations. Is that something we really need you to do? No, that's not something we need you to do. Uh, Sir Alaric Ironwood, is there anybody, anybody better than you? N uh, no, 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 no. So we're going to have you so descent down here in King's Landing, and it's going to give us a little bit. It's going to relieve some fog of war, so we can see King's Landing has got no troops on it. Now, could we... Move our spy master down there in a way where they could sabotage the province. What would be the benefit? Huge wildfire stock stockpile. I don't know if Tommen's going to use the wildfire. He could. If we encircle King's Landing, he could blow King's Landing up. Which is concerning. Um, Tommen, you got 2%. Okay, so Aegon is still down here, along with their ally Dorn. Okay. 
So Robert of the Vale is aiding in the defense of King's Landing from the Aegon's conquest. All right. I think we're good. If I want to send... The, you know what? Let's, let's... Fuck it. I don't need you to scheme anymore. I need you to go down here to King's Landing. And I need you to sabotage the province. But mainly, I want that that fog of war lifted. You can see by putting my Chancellor, my um, Justiciar down there, it only revealed the tile he was on. Putting my Spy Master down there revealed all of the neighbor... Well, no, I mean, most of the neighboring area. So we know King's Landing is pretty, pretty vulnerable right now. So, if you want to get the ships, you're already out in the bay. You're already out in the bay. Now, we can't get our men on there right now because we have 11,000. Let's see. Split off special troops. I wish there was an option where I could specifically choose... Split off special troops. Split off event spawn troops. Is that enough? It's barely enough. Oh, you assholes! It's barely enough! Um, special event spawn troops. Um, okay, split in half. We're gonna have to take this. We're gonna have to take this in. Um... I'm wondering, can they get access to the water from Whitford? I don't know because this army is, is once once this group goes here to Silvery, they're gonna move on to Mokalen. All right, so I'm just going to put you guys on the ships, as many of you on the ships as possible. You go to White Harbor. You army of five thousand led by Sir Lyle. Let's get an organizer in there. Harold, you are the man. We're going to need you, but we're going to use N Nicholas Saul for that organizer bonus to get him to White Harbor ASAP. Jon Snow, you cannot lead the center. Instead, it's going to be Harold because the center applies their, their well, certain benefits like organizer and siege leader is only applied from the person leading the center. It does not stack. Uh, and he's magical in that he has both organizer and siege leader. So, Harold, Harold, my man, you are the man. So, you're going to lead the armies. And, ooh, I wonder, I wonder, before I do anything else, before I forget, search everything, where is, where is Sir Robert Strong? Where is this son of a bitch? Lord Andric the Unsmiling. Oh, he's an Ironborn. Where is, there's Randall Tarly. Where is Sir Robert Strong? That's Brienne of Tarth. Who does lead some of the army sometimes for uh, Tommen? Um, where is this guy? Uh, maybe I should have put his whole name in there. All right, let's look look him up here. Robert Space Strong. Where is he? At court in the Red Keep. Okay. Because there's a good chance that King Tommen might send Sir Robert Strong out. To face us. To face Jon Snow. I don't think we've fought him yet. Not with this Jon Snow. And we know we cannot beat him. We don't even come close. So maybe having Jon Snow stay in, in Winterfell just to keep him safe might be the best thing to do. Let's make, the, eh, let's make it the crown focus. You know what, Jon Snow? Why don't you stay at home? Stay at home. And we're going to put all the forces we can into the Northern Fleet right here. And then we're going to bring the rest of them down to, around to White Harbor. And we're going to let the Iron Throne just take territory. Because, um, I mean, once we take their capital, once we take the capital and we have King Tommen in chains, it will not matter. He's 11 years old, so we've got plenty of time. So go ahead and, ah, there we go. It's always easier embarking your troops on boats. Now, there's 6,000 men led by Sir Harold. And we'll, we'll figure out who's going to lead on the flanks here in a second. But we're, we're probably going to have to split this army up again. You're going over the White Harbor. Excellent. We're still making the monies. All right. Now they're coming for us. They may even rush Winterfell. If they do, we'll just put everybody into hiding because we know how OP that is. All right. Sir Nicholas Saul is leading this army here. I will find him somebody nice. I will. Um, you will you will marry Snowhild. There you go. Nice wildling wife for you. Now, we will not be able to put these 5,000 men... On here, we can put maybe about 3,000, so we'll probably have to split this army up, and then Nicholas is probably going to have to fucking run away. <laughs> He's probably going to have to run away. Um, split the troops in half, and then Nicholas, join us on the ships. Where is this army going? They're going to Mokalen. They might be trying to get to White Harbor. This other army move over to Old Castle, and now we have 9,000. We can take less than 1,000 more. Um... I am, um, is there any, let's move you to Widow's Watch. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fucking sail you guys down to King's Landing right fucking now. Harold's gonna lead. Nicholas, I'd like to have someone on the flanks. Uh, Hostin. Hostin is the guy. Hugh is also a flanker. Perfect. Send him down south, and we'll come back around Widow's Whale and pick up the rest of the men. I would love to raise the people here in Greywater Watch, but they've got so many fucking reinforcements coming. Could be an issue. Uh, great. Thank you. Nicholas Saul is now married to a wildling. A wildling. Um, your enemy, Duin, has been captured by L Lord Glavius Marsh. I don't give a shit about that. Hey, has Peasant Revolt, Revolt is over. He's probably in our dungeons. No, nope, he's not. Um, guys, could you stop plotting? Jesus Christ. Ask quarters to leave. Yeah, we got quite a bit of quarters. But we would have to pay them to leave. It would only be five gold. Yes, may you find luck somewhere else. Leave. We can ask more to leave, too. I mean, do we want to? Pay another five gold? May you find luck somewhere else. Hopefully, we didn't need those guys. Hopefully, we didn't need them. All right, they're going over here. I'm not really sure what they're doing. Uh, it seems King Tom's a little confused now, but we're going to go straight for... Um, Straight for there's one advantage of the north is that going to like doing a Winterfell rush is kind of difficult. What is this army here? Hayford. Um, fuck landing our troops on top of them. We're gonna land here in Chidering Brook and then march over to uh, King King's Landing. Um, I Sir Cosgrove Gray sincerely asked that I be allowed to pursue a career at the Citadel. I think not. We need you collecting the monies. All right. Armies here. Go ahead and march on to King's Landing. And they do have some armies around here. But we're going to sail back up to Widow's Watch. Yes. We might even go over here and pick up the extra troops if we can. Now, are you guys still having uh, Daenerys try to attach to us? Now, here's the question. Is she sending tr troops to us? She does have a hundred, a hundred ships. So maybe... Owner has the Miranese fleet... Owner has the following order attached to army. Attached to army of Sir Harold. Interesting. We'll see if they actually do. How is she faring against her war with the Yunkish? 71%. So she's winning. She's well on her way to winning. We're still trying to sway her too, right? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so maybe she'll find her way over to Westeros. Doesn't really matter right now. Okay. Army is marching on King's Landing. And so far, I haven't seen any armies that could potentially stop us. Ah, 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 ah. King, King Tommen, your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. And I'm still debating if I'm going to actually have him killed or not. Because I desperately want to see him dead. I've been on this weird, ruthless streak where I've just been butchering children left and right. But he's a king, so does it really count? I don't know. I don't care. Um, Sail down here. Yeah, they're taking, they're taking some attrition. I like it. Oh, I like it. Um, here's a concern. If they take Mo Kalen, are they going to catch us? I don't see why they would. Because we're, we're raining in Fen. We're all the way up here. Oh, you're shitting me. That's pretty amazing. Hmm, um, Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, well, they'd have to march up there. I, I, and I doubt they're going to do that. I doubt they're going to do that. Um, this army right here is kind of silly. If you want to be, hey, wanna if you, I mean, if you want something to do, you can march back up the Fen. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> um, you want know right to express consternation at blah, 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 blah. Um, right. I know just how to smooth this over. That's nice. Um, Silver Reed. Would that be worthwhile taking? It might be. I really want to get the 1,300 troops that are right here. Howland, where are you? In Winterfell, the trained troops. Good. But they're going to have more and more reinforcements. We probably could land these troops here. Um, or would it be better just to send them down to King's Landing? Let's see if, when this army leaves, if we can just bounce in with our troops. I'll just have to smooth this over. Yep. No, there's, there's just too many. There's just too many. And I'm not going to wait. We need these men down here. Now, what kind of supply limit? Total troops would require, okay. Not bad. Now, is King, if, is he going to go into hiding here eventually? Ooh, Marjorie. We cannot marry Marjorie. We're already married to, uh, Danny. Oh, well. Um, uh, our spy master desires to get married. We will aid him in this endeavor. And we will marry you to... Someone who's good with money. Zoe, treasurer of high heart. 
Uh, Pia. Pia of House Kindle. All right, good. Lucky man. Anyways, we are well on our way to uh, taking taking down King's Landing. Now, knowing our luck, when we take King's Landing, we're not going to capture Tommen. Because that's happened before. That happened in our um, House Valerion Pirate King Arrain Waters series. We captured the capital of uh, the, the enemy, or of some enemy, or some some Lord in Tyrosh that we needed to we needed to capture, because he was able to bring in a bunch of free cities to also aid his uh, to aid Tyrosh in the in their defense. So, but we took his capital, which should have been an instant win. But for some reason, he wasn't captured. He was just kind of sitting on his throne, still reigning from his halls, but just our men couldn't capture him. He was in some kind of force field bubble or something. That's what I tell myself. But there, I guess there is a small chance that your character can go without being captured, and they don't have to go into hiding or anything like that. They can just reign from their captured halls, which is amazing to me. Uh, my treasurer wants to get married. We did deny his ability to go to the Citadel, so we're gonna, um, we'll be nice, and we'll have him get, trust us, trust, trust us, Sir, Sir Cosgrove Gray. Fuck your name, man, seriously. I know you wanted to become a maester and everything like that, but um, trust trust John. Having a wife will you'll be much happier. Having a wife and children will be much 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 happier. God, that that hammering is just getting louder and louder and louder. It's like, oh, they know I'm recording now. Now we're really gonna start. Now, just me being paranoid. Here's El Elise here. Elise Vickery. There's a lot of Wester Wester women here. Hmm. All right. Apparently we took some attrition. That's fine. We're landing another 2,500 men. There will be over 10,000 to the, the to the most excellent Lord Paramount Jod. And they're just ignoring our troops going up north, so... Lord Wyman the Lord Lamprey revoked the Castle of Wolf's Den from Bartimus. That is a cool name, Bartimus. Yeah, but he's a lunatic and he's possessed. Missing an eye and missing a leg. He's probably a lunatic because he was tortured by somebody. Only who? I don't know. Uh, my quarter, Sir Hugh Yu. Sir Hugh Yu, I will find you somebody nice. We have done more. A someone's born to Sir Lynn Corbray. Nice. I am starting to think Pia might fancy me. Oh, Jesus, John. John, John, John. Um, but, I mean, while we're trying to win the war, we've been doing a lot of marriage setups. I really wish there was an option to disable that, because as a ruler, I think my concern should be more with winning the war and trying not to wind up in a dungeon cell. Then arranging marriages for my quarters. Surely they can ask anyone else. Because I don't imagine it's as simple as, well, Lord Paramount John can just arrange whatever marriages he likes. I mean, is that a thing they would do back in the day with the with the king just you quarters, I I command you two to marry. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 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 okay, well, well, we'll get back to Pia. We'll get back to Pia, and we're gonna arrange this patrol. Uh, this is not patrol. We're gonna arrange this marriage. Between Sir Hugh Yu and Chloe. Chloe Shet. <laughs> Chloe Slick, oh, god damn it. <laughs> of the house Shet. <laughs> That's a fucking funny name. Pia is fancying us, and Sir Wallace Chelston has diarrhea. Well, here's the thing is just because. Th this is essentially Jon Snow thinking that Pia is interested in him. Is it worthwhile doing, though? I mean, Pia is an attractive character. She doesn't have bad traits. She wants to become the Lord Treasurer. But, but, if she gets pregnant, that's going to really piss off Danny. We, it's not appropriate. And besides, there's still the chance that she's actually not interested in us. It's just John misreading her. And then she'll, she could freak out and tell everybody. And that's bad. It's not appropriate. John, it's not appropriate. All right. 11,000 men stand outside the walls of King's Landing. Outnumbered times 1.223 and siege leader times 1.8. Um, is that the fort level of 10? No, we could actually assault it. But we're not going to. We're not going to. The legions of King Tom and are in the north, leaving his capital completely undefended. Of course, the, the north now is being overrun by southerners, but eh. Now, there are more men here that we could raise, but right now it looks like Greywater Watch is being besieged by the uh, 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 a host, a strong host from the Vale. So we're just going to fixate on taking King's Landing. Um, King Tommen is here. My lord, I'm deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your little subjects are running dry. Placate him with flattery. I mean, it is nice having a relatively high level of uh, 
The Jojen in the neck is inherited. Lord Howland Reed died of poor health. Oh, and Lord Jojen now is um, ruler of the... And then it's Mira. And if she doesn't have any kids, Mira and Jojen are going to disappear. Which means Arsa Reed is probably going to inherit. Alisane Lannister is currently... At, well, I mean, we've got multiple Lannisters under our control. We've got Kevin, and he's he's been nothing but helpful. Or am I thinking about the other Jon Snow campaign? Maybe. Um, Master at Arms is no longer Howland Reed. Um, Lyle the Strong Boar at Court in Then. Um, you know what? We're going to have you train our troops. Levy size, reinforcement rate. Yeah, yeah, do that in Winterfell, please. Thank you, sir. And we did arrange a marriage. Oh, his wife is Alice and Lannister. Right. So along with the other Jon Snow series, it's... Along with the other Jon Snow series... We have got Kevin Lannister, who is actually useful and who's helping us. Sir Lau the Strongboar is useful in helping us, and his wife is a Lannister, so we cannot... My opinion of Alicene is minus 100. Her opinion of us is minus... Oh, it's, it's the blood feud. No, it's not her fault. It's not her fault. We will be merciful. Uh-oh. By calling in a favor, has forced you to start a vote on the silly levy folks burger obligations line marine. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Danny, where are your goddamn armies? Where are your armies? You're still just chilling in Slaver's Bay. Ah, oh, yeah, she's still fighting, huh? But you're already on the cusp of winning. Maybe when that war is over, she'll come over. But it doesn't seem like she's going to. Anyways, placate with flattery. Do it! I'm actually... Uh, how's the war score going? Battle of Children's Tower, Battle of Dunfort. Um, lost control of these places. They're going to take more territory... But we're over halfway down, done with uh, taking the Red Keep. We're not going to assault it because we could take fuck tons of casualties and we need all the men we can get. Oh, it's just, it's either, we're either arranging marriages or we're having people complain about other people having command. It's like, just, do I not have a secretary who can be dealing with this shit? Annoying. I am amazed though that we're still getting a really good amount of money. Conditions are worsening in Winterfell. How does that affect the supply limit? Minus two. Eh. I was kind of hoping it'd be something crazy like minus 20. Because then if the enemy enemy are, if the enemy forces march on Winterfell, they would take mad amounts of attrition. They are taking Mo Kalen, though. Which has got me kind of concerned. Sir Nicholas Saul is defending Children's Tower Mo Kalen. Yeah, but we're in Then We're nowhere near them. Yeah, if King Tommen was actually a smart player, he would have landed his troops here and gone straight to Thend, and this, this war would have been over a long time ago. Somehow, John is, is is running the whole war from Thend, from a little Thend keep in the snowy mountains. Insane. Which we would not be able to do if we had the White Walkers event uh, activated. We would have been, we would have been, had our asses kicked out, I'm pretty sure. All right, now I have a chance to make Daenerys like me more. Excellent. Um, let us talk strategy. She's apparently trying to focus on making money. Woman. Oh, well, she did have 900 gold. It's probably because she took that stupid loan. Um, let's talk strategy. Oh, her marshal just went up to 15. What? My dissertation on mili military matters was very much appreciated, it seems. Queen Daenerys thanked me for sharing my knowledge with her, remarking that she will treasure what she has learned. So our dissertation actually improved her marshal. Nice. She's actually she's actually smart. Like she's quick. She's actually smarter than Jon Snow. And she's attractive too. Jon Snow, I'm sorry for you, sir. You don't have any good congenital traits. Interesting. Tommen, your days are numbered. Surrender now and we will show you mercy. Is Queen Marjorie here? She is. We will be merciful to her as well. We will. Um, Princess Marcella. She is at the Red Keep. Edric Storm is in Morgos. King Joffrey was murdered. My lord. My lord? My god. My... Okay. So, uh, uh, Legion Lord. That's... Those words put together is, is my lord. Yeah. I write to you with good news. I have successfully sabotaged King's Landing, causing considerable disruption. Now, what did you actually do? Job well done. What did you actually do? What did you do? Incited unrest. A spy has incited unrest in this county. Now, here's what's weird. Is it says he's incited unrest. Which, 
doesn't mean shit to us. In fact, it could very well hurt us if a rebellion were to happen right here. Which, if that were to happen, and it were like... Because sometimes you get rebellions or re re revolts that are very, very large. They're very, very powerful. Alarmingly so. And they could wipe out our army here, and that would be a, an IQ move of 200 plus for King Tommen if you were to arrange that. But um, I don't think it's going to happen. But I did notice... I did notice that they're now on the cusp of collapse. Something happened. I think that spy may have helped us in our siege. Our siege efforts. Tommen, surrender now and we'll show you mercy. We're not going to show you mercy anyways. A strange red priest from Essos has appeared at my court. They talk to a, they talk of a red god. Okay. Um, I shall embrace this new religion. 50% chance. Barristan. Lord Paramount John. Barristan. Barristan. What, what does this have to do with Lady Paramount Shireen? Have this heretic jailed. Yeah, throw him in the dungeons. There we go. I mean, we'll be merciful all the same. But, uh, oh, yes. Come on. To, oh, come on. 1.3%. My lord, we received word that the suspected traitor Sansa Stark has been revealed and she is married to Sir Harold the Young Falcon. Good for her. Our sister is here. Is it? Um. Oh, she doesn't? No. She is deceitful. She is deceitful and ruthless. Oh, ah, okay. All right. Good for her. Jon Snow is going to win the war. My prisoner Barristan's complaining about his cell. Very well, we shall be merciful. I just want to mind that piety. Um, can we ransom you? No. Opinion of Barristan. Can we just release him? I don't think we can release him. Because if we release him, I think he'll become free in our court. Well, then we can just ask him to leave, though. Let's release him. This is what Jon Snow would do. And now he's back. He's back in the east. Go for him. All right. Now, can we take fucking King's Landing already? Where is it? <sighs> so, you guys in the comment section, you essentially won the war for Jon Snow. Because my first attempt by this solo, I lost the war. Well, I didn't really lose the war. Well, I kind of did. If we had just stayed with the very first uh, uh, attempt with the war with King Tommen, we would have for sure have lost. Jon Snow would be rotting in a, in a dungeon cell right now, but Jon Snow has this kind of weird, uncanny ability of being able to escape uh, the dungeon, so maybe he would have maybe he would have been fine in the end. Um, but as my troops ransacked the Palace of the Red Keep, they uncovered an interesting relic that Grand Maester Marwyn had hidden away there. Transfer the Book of Lost Books. Ooh, what is that? Book of Lost Books. The Book of Lost Books is a book written by Archmaester Marwyn. In it, Marwyn claims to have obtained three pages of the legendary Long Lost Signs Importance. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is, and I don't care. Um, good work, my lord. Send them to my dungeons. I don't really want to lose piety, but we're going to take them all into house arrest. We're going to take Queen Marjorie into arrest, Lord Perwin, Lord Kevin, Marcella, and King Tommen. We really only need King Tommen, but fuck it. I want all, all of the people. And just like that... We have 100% war score. King Tommen, the boy king, is now... How dare you kill Lord Paramount John? You would dare. Stop backing the plot immediately. Stop backing the plot. All right. So, if we kill Tommen, we're not going to kill anybody else. Is Perwin... He's afraid. Oh, shit. So, because we have a blood feud... With House Lannister. Do we kill them all? The, if we if we kill King Tommen... We, I wish we could take Marjorie Tyrell as a concubine. That'd be sweet. But if we kill Marcella and Tommen because they're Lannisters and Perwin the Frey and Kevin Lannister... Well, we've already spared some Lannisters, though. Yeah, but Kevin was aiding the enemy. The question is, is who then... Who then would uh, inherit the Iron Throne? I don't know. Seven Kingdoms. We can look at the claimants. Right, so if we killed Tommen and we killed Marcella, that would leave Edric Storm, that would leave Aegon, who is at Court in Pentos. Apparently he lost his war too. Daenerys Targaryen, our wife, or Lady Paramount Shireen. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Um, I want the war to end. For sure. Seize valuable artifact?
Okay, so there's a lot of really good things we can do here. And before I do anything, I think I kind of want to get your guys' consensus about how we handle this. We could kill a lot of claimants for the Iron Throne, making it easier for Danny to take the Iron Throne. But I thought we were going to take this for Jon Snow, but he has no actual claims unless the R plus L event all happens, which unfortunately that doesn't seem to always happen, reliably so. Especially because Howland Reed's already dead. Uh, but apparently King Tommen also has a lot of valuable artifacts, including multiple Valyrian swords. We already have Valyrian sword, but we could take Heart Eater, we can take Widow's Whale. We could reforge ice. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here. That hammering is becoming really annoying, but I'm going to end the episode here. You guys know what's at stake. You tell me what we should do. If we should kill the Lannisters, if we should spare them, if we should take all of the, the, the valuable stuff that Tommen has. Because once we offer peace, he gets released. And I think we'll get a truce with him for at least 10 years as well, I'm hoping. But all of that, ladies and gentlemen, will take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video. I've been the Golden Oblivion, and this has been the ever-so-golden Lord Paramount Jon Snow of the North. And until next time, I will see you all later.